Yo, what is going on guys? Tuft here, and today I want to talk to you guys about a pretty revolutionary idea that I had. Now, if you guys watch my stream, you know that I love to play Arms Race and Demolition, and you know, those two game modes are really awesome, they've been in CSGO for a while, but they don't necessarily get as much love as I think they should. Now, first of all, there aren't a lot of skilled players playing those things. As you see, when I go in there and I play, oftentimes I'll easily win Arms Race, and Demolition seems to be a little bit too easy. Now, obviously it's because all of the skilled players are off doing something else like face it, SIVO, you know, ESEA, matchmaking. They're on to bigger, better things, but honestly, if you take a step back and look at it, there's a lot of things that you can do and learn from Arms Race. And, you know, Demolition just in general, both by playing them, and if you just take a look at it, you know, listen to what I have to say, you might actually end up playing this game once more frequently because there's a lot you can, uh, you know, benefit from these. One, if you guys don't know, uh, a lot of times when I'm on stream or before I start playing CSGO, you know, I'll warm up with some surfing or something, and but then after that, I usually always play like an arms race or two, and you know, sometimes I'll play demolition just for fun. Now, arms race is great because not only does it get you warmed up and get your aim fired up, but it also gives you a little bit, uh, you know, of time played with each weapon in the game, or not always each weapon, but if you play one or two arms races back to back, you're going to end up encountering different, uh, you know, gun chains or different, like, ladder systems, like, different, uh, you know, sets of guns that you have to go through. And eventually you're going to end up playing with every gun in the game, you know, for at least a brief period of time. Now, what I like about this is that if I'm warming up, you know, I'm sort of getting back into the, you know, swing of things with CS. I'm getting, you know, ready to play for the rest of the evening or whatever. What this does is it gets me, you know, sort of back into the feeling with each gun, you know, I have, you know, a brief amount of time working with pistols, I get to use these snipers for a little bit, you know, then I'm back in the rifles and shotguns and stuff, and it gives you, uh, you know, sort of a brief warm-up period with each of the guns. Now, obviously, this is great if you're warming up and you're an advanced or, you know, experienced player or veteran, and you want to just, you know, spend a little bit of time warming up with each gun. But if you're a beginner, this is obviously a great opportunity and great way to, you know, casually get used to uh, handling each gun and sort of learn the mechanics of each class and how they work. So that's one reason why you should definitely start playing Arms Race. Two, Demolition's pretty sweet because it gets you used to the, uh, you know, bomb plant mechanics and the round time stuff. And if you're a new player, this is something that you're going to need to be picking up on pretty quickly. And uh, Demolition's a pretty low-key, chill environment to start learning the basics of CS and you know how rounds will function and it also is a pretty awesome way to get experience like I said uh, with guns and you know dealing with them and being exposed to different you know genre uh, not genres that's a pretty terrible way to describe guns but you know different uh, classes of guns you get to work with the SMGs the assault rifles uh, you know the pistols the SMGs I already said that rip the shotguns that's what I meant shotguns snipers all that cool stuff so if you're a beginner it's a great way to sort of build experience with all the different classes and sort of get used to the mechanics of the game. But if you're an expert or like an advanced player, then you're also going to be able to benefit from this by, uh, you know, just warming up and briefly getting, you know, time with each of the guns again. It's also extremely fun at the competitive uh, level because every time that I get into an arms race or something and I end up playing against another skilled player, it just really raises the stakes and it makes it that much more fun when you're playing against people that are actually your rank. Now, obviously, like I said, the more advanced players are drawn to other game modes and other, you know, like third party systems, whatever, stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about. I think if Valve implemented a ranking system that, you know, placed you within the relative skill group that you play at for matchmaking or something like that, it would be pretty awesome and it would be a lot more intense. Not only would this encourage people to play more, but it would also uh, benefit a lot better experience for the people that are playing the game mode and, you know, are going in and either getting completely wrecked and not wanting to play anymore at all, or the people that are really good and go in and have a way too easy time, you know, easily ending the game within like a couple minutes because all the players that they're playing against are like silvers and stuff. So I think it'd be really cool to see them implement some sort of, uh, you know, ranking system or some sort of initiative to play because I don't think a lot of people play this game, or this game mode at least, and it's a really well-deserved, like it's awesome, it's pretty fun obviously, and you know, a lot of people stopped playing it after they added the, uh, the wall hack glitch, not glitch, it was on purpose, Valve sucks. But I mean, it's okay, because if they reverse it and take it away, that would just make it 10 times better. So Valve, there's two things you need to do, my friends. One, if you're in first place in arms race, you shouldn't be giving, uh, you know, wall hacks to all of the other players. That's just ridiculous. Fix that, please. Like, no one likes it. That's why you killed the arms race, uh, you know, players and the player count, and that's why no one plays it anymore. 
Also, add ranks and so you can get everyone motivated to play again and build up some initiative and you know rewards for actually experimenting and you know playing around with these game modes again. Honestly, this is sort of a far-fetched goal. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I still will continue to play Arms Race and Demolition. And I still to, uh, continue to enjoy them, and hopefully you guys will start playing more too. So I have some other you know players to go against because it gets lonely sometimes playing against Silvers and Arms Race all the time, but. You know, hopefully Valve will do something about that in the future. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys agree with me, or if you have other views, or if you guys play Arms Race or something in general by yourselves, make sure you comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. If you guys like this video or the content I showed you guys today, make sure you drop a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. We're going to have a lot more epic CSGO content coming pretty soon. So, you know what? Stick around, boys. Until next time, I will see you all later. Peace.